What moves do you have besides Miss Ball? <clears throat> well, there's double team, Amber said to herself. But I'm not sure how well that works in this scenario. And we have Ariel Ace. No, no, Latias, we haven't started working on that yet. Do you need a TM to do this? Latias did a loop-de-loop -loop in the air. She swooped down and crashed straight into timber, knocking it out. As you know, we will be going on a field trip to the Safari Zone. You might be asking, Skull, if we have failed a Pokemon recognition test, why are you rewarding us with this field trip? The answer is simple. This isn't a reward. We're teaching you a Pokemon are all over again. It's too late now, Natalie said. The best thing to do would be to do the same with my paper. Let me think. Amber took a pencil and scratched out Natalie's name except for the initials. No. All right, Natalie sighed. But guess who's getting a zero for not turning it in? Amber fumed. She crumpled up the paper and screeched, Well, you can just take this paper and shove it! And she proceeded to stuff it into Natalie's mouth. Today we will begin our unit on Pokemon types, Wait, where's Amber? The class was silent. Skull went for the button on the wall. Headmistress hotline the headmistress's voice piped through the PA. What is it this time? Where are my grass fire water type trainers? A hand in the front row immediately shot up. Yes, Bruce, Skull said to the hands owner. Why don't you come up here? Bruce joined Skull at the front of the class. Please introduce yourself to the class, Skull told him. Yo, yo, what up, Bruce said. I'm Bruce the Bruiser. Please be more professional, Skull told him. You be more professional, Bruce replied. She's right, Amber said. This totally goes against the Pokemon Anti-Abuse Act of 1967. Don't bring 1967 into this, it snapped. I'm just saying you're required by law to give a better demonstration. First point, train at your own risk. These are ghost types we're talking about. They can steal your shadow or kidnap you or suck out your soul or other crazy stuff like that. Ghost type training is not for the faint of heart. Wally raised his hand. What? How do you define faint of heart? Julius. What about grounded dragon types, Amber said. Yeah, those two. You want me to get into the whole brouhaha between dragons and ice types? A murmur of disapproval spread throughout the classroom. No thanks, Amber said. I already have all the evidence I need. For what? For proving there is at least one flaw in your dragon type lecture. What is it? In your dragon type lecture, you said dragon types had only two weaknesses, dragons and fairies, but you left one out. And what is that? Ice types? Bruce began to shout, Oh, that was a sick burn! Then he realized no one was joining him. Um, sorry. Uh, please, continue the lecture. So, who are you planning to journey with, Amber asked. I'm going alone, Wally said confidently. I'm a big boy. I can catch my own Pokemon and fight my own gym battles. Says the guy who could barely get his Roth to listen to him, Amber replied snidely. I'll have you know that my teamwork with Curlia has improved marginally since it evolved. After five minutes of these shenanigans, Skull was at wit's end. He shouted, I can't take this anymore! This can't possibly be fair! If invisibility is one of Latias' natural abilities, then they're playing fair and square, the referee said. Skull waved his hand in the air and cried, Uncle! Uncle! You realize that's not an official forfeit.